hey guys i am gautam and welcome to gk mix so in this video i'm going to talk about uh, the most important topics that you should read from one chapter and i will be uh, making a lot of videos regarding the same and uh, in this video series you will get uh, one by one chapters and their important topics okay for iit jam 2020 so it's almost one month left so uh, it's the time to uh, it's, it's the time for you to uh, recapitulate all those things okay so for that uh, just let me tell you about uh, one chapter one iit jam chapter that i am taking from physical chemistry and the chapter is electrochemistry and conductance so from conductance what chapters uh, what topics you should read or uh, you should revise okay during this time uh, that is much much more important okay so uh, the, uh, l let me tell you about every topics okay that you should read and if you haven't read uh, read all those topics or if you don't have all those topics you can also collect them just check the description below in my website go there and you can collect them and uh, for that just let me tell you first conductance so from conductance what you need to read uh, I am, I'm just talking about the uh, basic things okay the deep you will find in my material also and if you do have all those things that's no problem okay so the first uh, thing that is uh, from conductance it's a uh, definition of conductance and it's unit then specific conductance what is in specific conductance and the relation with the specific conductance with cell constant so a lot of problems uh, are coming generally comes from those and uh, uh, from cell constants okay so they will provide you the cell constant value you have to uh, they uh, they may tell you to calculate the specific uh, conductance like those things and i mean the problems regarding the same okay the specific conductance problem along with the cell constant then uh, equivalent and molar conductance their relation equivalent molar conductance definition and their basically their relations to solve problems like uh, e j uh, lambda there is lambda z and lambda m i think so their relations that is the with the valency okay or equivalency like the, those things and the corresponding problems okay numerical type problems with uh, equivalent and molar conductance the third uh, topic is uh, concentration dependency of lambda and kappa that is concentration dependency of uh, conductance and specific conductance so how uh, for strong electrolyte and also for weak electrolyte remember these two points for strong and weak electrolytes how uh, uh, lambda that means uh, conductance and specific conductance varies there uh, some, sometimes it may be exponential curve sometimes it may be linear curve so these kind of things how this varies okay at lower concentration region at higher concentration region and for also for weak and strong electrolytes remember this one okay i mean the concentration dependency of uh, conductance or specific conductance okay then the most important another important topic is Kohler's law of, of independent migration so there it's a very important problem that uh, from Kohler's law they generally uh, question comes uh, numerical type questions generally are uh, generally comes like uh, uh, they will provide you suppose acetic acid they will provide you uh, the conductance value of sodium acetate and conductance value of uh, like other things other uh, salt and they will uh, tell you to calculate the uh, uh, of course Kohler's uh, conductance of uh, uh, in uh, acetic acids okay so this kind of problems you may face in uh, from Kohler's law then mobility of ion mobility of ion that means ionic mobility and its definition it's very important and the corresponding its equation okay that is I think u equals to f into lambda 0 okay u that is u means uh, ionic mobility La lambda yeah, or f f is equals to Faraday and uh, lambda 0 that is equals to conductance standard condition of course so uh, it's mobility it's gone and uh, another thing is uh, the order of ionic mobility of these kind of things like sodium lithium plus sodium plus potassium plus rubidium plus cesium plus so these five cations in aqueous solution what will be the ionic mobility what will be the correct order of ionic mobility these kind of problems generally comes they will provide you four options or like that and uh, you have to choose the correct one so the sixth one is ionic strength and from ionic strength you just have to uh, know the unit of ionic strength its definition and finally the problem it's very important okay the problems generally comes uh, from ionic strength then mean ionic activity activity coefficient and mean ionic molarity okay so you have to read about mean ionic activity what is that activity coefficient of course the corresponding activity coefficient and mean ionic molarity so from here question question generally comes and one question came uh, in iitm 2018 when i was uh, I appeared in the uh, jam 2018 exam okay i got on question from here so it's also very important topic so just verify yourself you do have whether you do have all these uh, things all these topics in your uh, electrochemistry or uh, conductance chapters or not if you don't have then you can go to easychemics.com if you have no problem just do revise all the things then uh, another topic is dy huckel limiting law okay so dy huckel limiting law this is one plot and its uh, final equation generally comes and uh, in that equation you have to solve a lot of numericals okay so uh, generally numericals uh, comes from this topic okay dy huckel limiting law 
and and uh, finally i am talking about only conductance i haven't entered into uh, electrochemistry okay so from conductance uh, the application of conductance this is much more important that is first solubility so solubility that is uh, solubility you can determine by uh, uh, by the value of uh, ksp that is solubility product okay so if you know solubility product if you know the salt and their formula then you can easily uh, get the solubility so this kind of problem you can face and another is sol from solubility you can get uh, the value of solubility from conductance measurement okay that is thousand lambda by uh, uh, thousand kappa by lambda okay this kind of formulas solubility is equals to so this kind of formulas you have to uh, remember okay and general problems to, uh, from solubility okay generally uh, most of the cases at least 90 to 95 percent cases problems come from solubility okay that is the application of electric conductance remember this one uh, then uh, another problem that is degree of ionization alpha this is a very important uh, application so alpha there is one formula alpha is equals to conductance by uh, conductance and infinite dilution so this kind of formula and they will provide you conductance they will provide you conductance at infinite dilution then you, you have to find the uh, degree of uh, ionization then ionic product of uh, water so same is true for uh, th uh, the same the application and you have to find the ionic product of water but this topic is a little bit less important but also it's in the jam syllabus the most another most important application of conductance is a uh, conductometric titration so, okay so you have to read its principle how it works and it's a lot of examples okay different kind of examples and their plots how the uh, how you can plot the graph okay so this is very important for conductometric tradition so it's all over and another thing yeah another important thing is uh, transport number or transference number you can tell so you have to find the definition that is t plus and t minus what is uh, their uh, main equation that is t plus plus t minus that is uh, transport number of cation plus transport number of anion is equals to one this kind of things and generally problems problems from uh, two method at one is heat ops method another is uh, moving boundary method so this from these two methods generally problem comes okay so you have to find uh, find out all those problems and solve all those problems okay that is numerical type questions comes from transport number okay so it's done with uh, conductance so now i am uh, i am entering into emf that is electromotive force or you can say or more broadly uh, it's uh, electrochemistry so it's electrochemistry the most basic things let me tell you that is emf that is includes the galvanic cell then how to represent the cell okay so from cell reaction to cell uh, representation or re cell representation how can you write the cells reactions okay you need cell reactions anode reactions cathode reactions how can you do that you have to understand all those things because in exam you will not find any questions like uh, you have read and the question generally comes this doesn't occur so you have to uh, learn how to represent all those things so then electrode potential okay then standard electrode potential and the hydrogen of course hydrogen electrode and reversible and irreversible cell okay so you can uh, you have to read all those things all those basic things so now i am entering into standard cell so there are two types of standard cell you know that is primary and secondary standard cell and this is primary this is a standard hydrogen electrode and secondary that is calomel electrode so this kind of things i hope you uh, your notes have all those things or your books have all those things if you don't have you just uh, go to easychemics.com and do check out all those things uh, then uh, another thing is uh, thermodynamics okay thermodynamical application of emf that is uh, uh, energy sorry it was delta g that is gibbs free energy then delta h enthalpy sense and the finally entropy change these relations with the emf measurement okay so emf the, that relates to uh, gibbs free energy enthalpy change and entropy change so these kind of three equations and uh, along with that one equation that is uh, uh, yeah equilibrium constant with and uh, emf so these four equations are very very important you you can think that from this chapter uh, electrochemical chemistry and conduction you, you can face at least one question from these four formulas okay that is numerical type questions oh as i have told you that from physical chemistry you just you can face only numerical type questions but uh, generally what happens uh, most of the questions comes from these parts okay electrochemistry part okay then rather than the conductance part that that, that doesn't mean that you will not face any problems uh, numericals from uh, conductance part but i have seen that most of the questions come from electrochemistry part so should, you should not miss any of any of these things okay whatever topics i have told you I, because i am telling you the most important topics okay and it cannot be like two or three topics okay so let me tell you everything that is most important so it's a vast chapter so next there is non-stick equation and its application how can we apply this to all the cell reactions okay so non-stick equation then uh, 
different electrodes different electrodes means amalgam electrodes gas electrodes okay this kind of electrodes so that you can easily uh, just you have just to understand how can you represent the electrodes and from electrodes how can you represent the cell reactions overall cell reactions anode reactions cathode reactions this kind of things because you have to understand if you can understand then this will be very easy for you okay then uh, another most important cell that is concentration cell there are two types of concentration cell of course electrode concentration cell and electrolyte concentration cell so electrode and electrolyte and uh, you have to just uh, read uh, most important things at from electrolyte concentration cell that is ljp liquid junction potential okay and uh, its uh, removal or how can you eliminate this that is use of salt breeze how salt breeze made what are the components of salt breeze this kind of things we have to read from there so this is enough these are enough okay from electrochemistry now uh, i am coming into the application part of electrochemistry so uh, from application what you can expect that ksp uh, from uh, solid you have uh, they, they give generally provide you the uh, solubility product and you have to find the uh, solubility okay so this kind of problems then uh, different kind of ph how can you calculate the ph values that is glass elect uh, glass from glass electrode from hydrogen electrode and from queen hydrogen electrode so these three methods are, are generally used to calculate the ph of a solution so how can you calculate that what will be the uh, required equation so that you should read and finally the last point is uh, the potentiometric tradition their plots potentiometric tradition and their plots and the kinds of potentiometric tradition the, that means its types so i think that's enough and uh, i have told you all the topics just do verify yourself that whether you know all these reactions or not if you don't know just do read all those things and of course if you know all those topics then uh, of course you will find uh, that you can solve every questions from this chapter okay so just and for more information you can just uh, check the last five years question papers that will help you that uh, most of the questions generally comes from this topic these topics or whatever i have told you right now so that's enough so whatever just uh, just do read all those things and thank you thanks for watching